Hey everyone, it's RF Tech Guy here. Uh, sorry if you hear any background noise like kids running around or anything like that. But I wanted to make this little video uh, basically about what I've learned about solar panels in the past uh, year since I've been doing this. So I set up this little uh, presentation here for uh, off grid solar for beginners. Let's talk about what you need to get started and what does it cost. Now, basically, what you need here is uh, of course you need the solar panels the charge controller which is gonna stop your batteries from overcharging and uh, put the right amount of energy in there and uh, you need a battery bank we'll talk about that and also you, you're gonna need a power inverter to convert your power from DC to AC so the two solar panels we're gonna be talking about today is uh, we got the Renogy 100 watt kit right here on the left and we got the um, Harbor Freight solar panels right here on the right. So let's talk about Harbor Freight's 100 watt kit. The 100 watt kit costs around $200. That's the normal price. I got mine for 150 because I got it with a coupon. I got it on sale. And now they have the um, 420 watt. Uh, it comes with 425 watt panels, uh, two lights, as you can see in the picture here, uh, one charge controller, some pretty long wires to connect to the charge controller. I forgot how many feet it actually comes with, but I know that they're really long. I got mine, my uh, Harbor Freight solar panels on the roof, and I got it coming down to uh, to my patio. I got the wires coming down to my patio where my charge controller is and my battery bank. We got one set of battery clamps. So it, this now I changed my battery clamps out, but uh, this comes with battery clamps that you know you could car charge. Uh, you could hook the charge controller up to the batteries with these battery clamps and it also comes with uh, one extension yeah, it comes with an extension cord where you could hook all four of these panels up to one charge controller and it's pretty long probably about maybe seven feet so they also got a 25 watt option which doesn't come with very much it comes with uh, battery clamps and some wire and that's about it and it looks like it has a 12 volt connection here uh, I'm not too impressed with the 70, uh, I'm sorry, with the 25 watt panel because it's uh, kind of expensive for 25 watts. And one thing I didn't write down in, in my notes here is that these panels are, I would say, about 38 inches in length and probably about uh, around 20 something inches in width. Now let, uh, we're going to go check out the um, Renogy. Now in Renogy, a 100 watt panel costs around $120 and the 100 watt kit costs around $196. So uh, basically the same price as the Harbor Freight, but it's just one panel. And I believe the panel size is 47 inches by one fourth of an inch, you know, width and 21 inches, uh, 21 inches wide and I'm sorry, one 0.4 inches thick but it comes with all the same stuff comes with a charge controller I don't know how long the wires are uh, comes with one set of battery connectors now these doesn't these don't have clamps these bolt directly onto the battery and uh, one set of panel mounts as you can see down here the Renogy has a variety of options from 100 to 600 watts depending on what kind of kit you got and the the kits come with better charge controllers they come with a variety of charge controllers which can handle um, you know the amount of watts that you're putting into it as you can see from this image here this looks like this the six uh, 600 watt panel which comes with six uh, panels and this uh, pretty hefty looking uh, charge controller here now I didn't write too much here about the charge controllers but from what I've been hearing from the comments uh, you know because I've set up my solar panels you know my little uh, ghetto rigged solar setup uh, I got a lot of complaints telling me so this charge controller here you see here in the background is probably better than the charge controller the 100 watt Harbor Freight kit comes with but this is a pretty basic charge controller the one that I really want to get right here this one cost I believe around hundred and fifty six hundred and fifty to hundred and sixty dollars and this is a MPP char MPPT charge controller which is supposed to be a smart con uh, charge controller which I don't exactly know all the details about but apparently it's supposed to be way more efficient at charging your batteries in low light the MPPT charge controller is the one I'd be recommending and uh, I'm gonna be leaving links to all of this stuff uh, down in the description below 
So if you would like to get, um, well, of course not Harbor Freight because Harbor Freight I can only find in store. I don't even know if they sell online. But I'll be leaving links to all this uh, Renogy and and this MPPT charge controller here. And the basic charge controllers if you would like them to. I think these run like 20 to 30 bucks. So let's talk about batteries here. You got two choices in what type of batteries you're going to run. You can run lithium. Now these, it's probably, if you're going to run lithium, you're probably better off trying to find them used because lithium gets pretty pricey, which I get recommendations like, why don't you just run lithium? Because lithium is expensive and I cannot afford lithium. Apparently you can run these to pretty much a dead battery and then recharge and it won't kill your battery. Or you can go to the regular lead acid uh, deep cycle batteries. Now if you're gonna go lead acid, uh, definitely they have to be deep cycle. Uh, this is one thing I guess I was reminded that I keep forgetting to say they cannot be just any car battery that you're running your solar panels on. Uh, they, they have to be deep cycle batteries. So uh, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about the lithium batteries and your options. One of the options that somebody told me to do is uh, get a Tesla Powerwall. Now, I run into a couple of issues with the Tesla Powerwall. One of them, the one of the most important ones is that I can't afford it. And the second reason I do not run a Tesla Powerwall is that these things are pre-ordered and they take a long time uh, to get. So you have to purchase them, you have to pre-order them, and you're going to have to be put on a waiting list to get these. I was trying to figure out how to build one, but then uh, my brother told me if I tried to build one, I'd probably end up blowing myself up. So I uh, I think I'm going to pass on that. Harbor Freight has these uh, 35 amp hour batteries. They're, they run about $70 a piece. They're pretty nice, and they can deal with a lot. You can, you can run them pretty low on a charge without killing them. Now I still have mine even though uh, on the comments I was told that I was gonna fry mine out pretty quickly but I still use these in a portable solar kit that I made. It's kind of a heavy portable solar kit but uh, but it can run a lot like power drills and and things like that. Lights and of course make my coffee which is the most important thing. Now if you're gonna get if you're gonna get these 35 amp hours I would recommend at least getting two of them so you have 70 amp hours. Renogy deep cycle AGM battery 12 volt 100 amp hour for RV solar marine and off-grid applications and it runs around $200. The reason I got my battery so small is because uh, I got them for about with the core charge it costed me about $60 a piece for 88 amp hour batteries which so I was able to get four of them and uh, I believe I'm at 352 amp hours with my batteries right now with my battery setup right now and the reason why I am going with lead acid and not lithium again is because lithium costs way too much and I can't afford that at this point so let's go look at the lithium battery saying that this is a uh, Renogy lithium iron phosphate battery 12 volt 100 amp hour for RV solar marine and off-grid applications this thing costs about eight hundred dollars so this price right here for a hundred amp hours is why I cannot afford this but yeah these can handle like you can you can drain these all the way to the dead battery and it will not kill the lithium battery that's another reason why these things are so awesome and they last a lot longer than the uh, regular lead acid deep cycle batteries so if you can afford this this would actually be the way to go right here or just find uh, some old car lithium batteries like they have the Nissan Leaf batteries that I've been finding but they're all used and I don't know how uh, how well they're working because I have been looking up lithium batteries and how to get them for cheap and pretty much I cannot find lithium batteries uh, very cheap so now we're gonna move on to the um, the power inverters so you got your options right here this is a 2000 watt regular inverter I have a I am personally running a 5000 watt inverter I can run a lot I don't think my solar panels can handle running well my solar panels can't run, handle running 5000 watts but you know I still have it so I can run at least for a short amount of time now the one that's recommended to me now there I've been hearing different sin waves but uh, the one of the first inverters that was recommended to me in the comments was a pure sin wave inverter 
Uh, for me, I have to be at at least 2,000 watts. So th I believe this one here in this image is 3,000 watts, and I forgot what the price range was, and I should have written it down. I think it's about 150, maybe 200 dollars. Oh no, I, uh, I don't know. The price will be up there. It's probably about 300 dollars. I'll be leaving a link in the description below to, on where you could get this. So this is the last item that you're going to need for your solar panel. Oh, for your yeah, your solar panels. A lot of these inverters, I I forgot to mention that a lot of these inverters do not come with uh, the wires. But uh, what was recommended to me. For if you're going to be running heavy equipment or trying to run an air conditioner on your solar panels, uh, it's two to zero gauge uh, wires that you're going to need to be running this. You're going to need the two to zero gauge to run in parallel and uh, also to run the batteries to the inverter. You're going to need the same thing. So here's the basic solar setup. Now, a lot of these instructions you can find online. Up I'll probably leave a diagram so you can uh, download in the description. I'll see if I can do that. Or you can go check out what my website and I will be leaving diagrams diagrams on my uh, RF Tech Guy website. Uh, on uh, You can probably download them from there as well. And this will show you the basic setup. The solar panel goes directly to the charge controller. The charge controller, this is a little meter to show you how much uh, volts you you have left in your battery or what your charge is at. This is a little uh, apparatus you can have inside your house. And it's recommended you, that you have a fuse. So of course you got it from coming from the charge con controller. Just make sure you follow the negative and positive lines. Because I'll tell you there will be a plus and a minus here on uh, which one goes to the battery and a plus and a minus on which one goes to the solar panel. That comes directly on the charge controller. So. It's pretty easy to figure out when you get it. And then you're going to go from the battery to the um, inverter. So the wiring in this is uh, pretty simple. And then of course we got the Harbor Freight one here. So we got their whole solar setup here. Oh yeah, this is one thing I forgot to mention. So 100 watt kit, about $200. Uh, 100 amp hour battery bank. Uh, I'd say ranged it around 225 This is going based off the Renogy batteries. Okay, so it, you can always find a, a place that actually sells batteries and refurbishes batteries and you can probably get a, a lot cheaper. Just tell them you need deep cycle batteries and they, they might recommend um, golf cart batteries. But uh, those are usually six volt and you'll have to uh, you'll have to get two of them and wire them in series. Pure Sin Wave Inverter, about $320. Okay, so the Pure Sin Wave Inverter, we found out 320 yeah, uh, wires are going to cost you uh, roughly around a hundred. They might be a little bit less. And uh, so we totaled out the Renogy solar setup, hundred watt solar setup, to be around eight hundred and forty-five dollars. Now this is just a starting kit. You can always go back and buy another panel and just add on to it later. This the one thing I do like about Renogy is that it's so easy to just expand on the solar. Now you don't have to go with Renogy or Harbor Freight. There are 320 watt panels out there. The reason why I'm showing you these is because these are very good if you're beginning. They have the whole setup there and uh, and the instructions on how to set it up. Harbor Freight 100 watt kit $200. Um, you would need three 35 amp hours uh, batteries because I'm going based off Harbor Freight brand. Three 35 amp hour uh, amp hour batteries to equal 105 amp hours, and that'll be about $210 for those batteries. Uh, Pearson Wave Inverter again, $320. Wires. This is one thing I did forget when I was buying my solar panels because I was just so much in a rush. I was like so excited about getting them. I bought the panels and. All the setup and I didn't have the right wires so just letting you know um, I bought the, my wires and then I just uh, cut them to the length I wanted them and then I put I cramped the I crimped the um, ends on there so roughly around a hundred dollars for wires and uh, about eight hundred and thirty dollars for the whole solar setup now again, the issue that we have with Harbor Freight is how much space. This is an issue that I keep getting from um, in the comments is that how much space they take up. And yeah, they do take up a lot of space for the amount of solar that they're putting out. 
but they're pretty efficient from what I've seen. I don't know how efficient Renogy is. I would love to try it out though because it looks like so easy to upgrade. So that's about all the time I have for today. If you have any more questions or comments, uh, go ahead and leave it in the comments below. So if you like this video, go ahead and leave a like and uh, don't forget to subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. Oh yeah, and don't forget to check out the links in the descriptions below. There'll be uh, all of this stuff that I have on here, except for the hardware freight. All the Renogy stuff will be in the links in the description below. And also uh, check out my website, which I have a lot more uh, solar panels and uh, I'll I'm going to be upgrading my website and showing uh, uh, having diagrams on there uh, for the solar setup. Thank you for watching.